These are the camera accessories that I've been using constantly this past year. They're all under $50 and I'll have linked to them in the description as well. And they never leave my camera bag. Have you ever struggled photographing people with glasses or reducing and eliminating those kind of like lens reflections that you can see right here? Me too. So circular polarizing filters or CP filters will help not only with reducing those reflections in glasses, but also in windows and water as well. Now these things aren't magic and they don't really work on metal, but I do love these filters and I use them a lot. There's a lot of variations and this one I'm showing you here is just a basic option, but there are also ones that are a little bit more expensive that have variable ND filters built in as well. Just don't buy the cheapest ones you find because you're gonna be throwing crappy clarity in front of probably a good lens and that will reduce the natural effects or even the quality of the pictures that you're getting by throwing something that's you know kind of lower quality in front of that. I use KNF Concept ones and they're not the most amazing filters you'll ever find but they are good and reasonably priced. Keeping with the filters, sometimes they can get a little bit expensive if you have multiple lenses and with different thread sizes. This step up, step down kit by Newer can adapt a larger filter onto a smaller lens. So if you don't have enough money to buy the same filters for every lens you have, or let's say you're in a pinch, this is a good solution. I keep these in my bag because every now and then I'll have to use both a CP and an ND filter and those filters are expensive. So, so I have a large one that fits my biggest lens natively and I adapt it to fit smaller lenses if I need to use it. It can look a bit ridiculous sometimes, but who cares? Get the shot. Have you ever gotten a filter stuck on your lens? If you haven't yet, you will someday. It's inevitable. These lens filter wrenches are good to have in hand. They come in three sizes that fit most front end lens thread sizes and they're small enough that you could throw them in your bag and forget that they're there until you get a CP or an ND filter stuck on your lens. I keep them in my bag all the time because they always get stuck at the worst possible moment. If you're finding this video helpful, let me know what it was in the comment section that you got turned on to or leave a thumbs up. That would be super helpful to the channel. Thanks. Okay, it's difficult to get a peak design product on an under 50 list, but it happened and it's honest because I do use this wrist strap daily. It's on every camera that I use. If you're unfamiliar, this is a quick release system that would replace the need for having to go in and try and pry apart those like kind of keyring style clasps to get a traditional strap through. The strap itself is comfortable, reinforced, it's easy to adjust and has a magnet inside so you can wear it like a bracelet so you can use it as a backup solution for your neck strap. Peak Design's warranties are really great. They also make traditional camera straps that all use the same system, and you can buy extra attachments if you have more than one camera. Next up is this Pelican SD card case. Pelican is my favorite brand for hard cases in general that protect your gear. I love this card case because it can hold standard, mini, and micro SD cards. It has a bunch of foam padding, hard shell case, and significant clasp. It has a rubber gasket that probably offers some level of water resistance. And if you're afraid of losing it, add a strap with a clip to this loop here and keep it secure somewhere. So I'm out here taking pictures. And one thing I didn't even think to mention when I was scripting this video was this quarter. It's worth 25 cents. This is probably the cheapest thing on our list. And you could probably go in your couch cushions and find one right now. But I always keep one in my bag, even though I have a multi-tool because I've lost so many multi-tools. Uh, it's always good to just have a quarter on there so you can just like, quickly undo something that's threaded. Um, so you don't have to try and find like a screwdriver or anything like that. And another thing that I didn't even think to mention, it's a little C-clamp with a uh, ball head on the other end. When it really does come in handy sometimes is when I have to use it to mount a flash to the corner of a room or if you want to even attach a camera and clip it onto something so you you know have another angle for something next up we have a cleaning kit and this doesn't sound super glamorous but if you don't have a way to keep your lens and sensor clean you need to get a cleaning kit your shirt is just not going to cut it i don't actually carry the whole kit around with me just the essentials i would say that you can probably get away with just the microfiber cloth and the multi-tool and the multi-tool has a retractable brush for removing debris on the other end, it has a pad for smudges and you can clip it right inside your bag or your pocket. I always keep a cleaning solution and this kind of dust blower thing where the nozzle can be removed and reinserted backwards in order to save some space. Let me know what items you keep in your camera bag or comment if this video was helpful. 
We're at the end here, so thank you for watching. If you're interested in more photography on a budget, I suggest this playlist coming on screen here soon. And I really do hope to see you again.